Now, folks, basically this is today, and you can see the time. I remember the right-hand corner down there, right-hand corner down there, and also you got your date and time in here. Now, this is a remnant. That little black speck is a huge object, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Because the idea that that, it must be at least, this, uh, it could be the size of Jupiter. It, it's at least a third of the size of Jupiter or something like that. Uh, we'll blow up here. We'll go up 400%, and I've showed you on x-ray shots because basically it ends up being an x-ray because the sun and the supergiants go kawamo. And yes, the sun is more than likely, you see this gray area right here? This is more than likely the sun right here, okay? Because you see that little white disk that we get. Now, you know, don't get me wrong. This could be the sun here. Now, yesterday, I looked at the sun outside, not with the naked eye, ladies and gentlemen, Welding glasses, okay? And the idea, you can see the second sun directly behind the sun that we have in front of us. Now, it could be the sun that we're normally, our sun, in the supergiants, which is one of 101 suns that are f four, 100 of them, because the sun's there, one sun. Now, this is a remnant we always see there. It looks basically, I would say that astronomers and uh, anybody who made the Star Trek episode and stuff, the spaceships and so forth like that, this is a big old wishbone of a remnant that's been up by the sun for a hell of a long time. So they're creations of the idea because anything that could sit and stay this close to the sun for a hell of a long time, either that or this is a brand new remnant since the sun has been into the supergiants, okay? All this dark stuff here, these are huge objects that are up by the hottest thing in the flipping knowledge of mankind, okay? It's the supergiants in the sun, okay? And I went through, you can watch, watch all my videos, the panties off the supergiants, one and two, and uh, a lot of my videos, I end up going in and showing you some of the supergiants factual stuff. And you can go to photos at my main, supergiants main sequence, supergiants main sequence, and the link is right on my website, okay? So this is shots from today. I mean, or yesterday, basically, because, uh, but Zulu time, the 26th, will show up in here. So I'm going to play with this some more and show you some more objects that are up by the sun that you can't miss, okay? So look here, and we're going to show you some more, and it's always layers, and you can see layers on this shot, more than one shot, isn't it, okay? That remnant's there, and you'll see that remnant some more through this, and basically the other uh, remnant down here is down farting its ass off like a volcano because it's a remnant that's always there, a small, very small sun that's real close to the sun. Basically, it's just any object. If Earth was up there, which would be just any little grain of blackness here, I've said that enough before in a fast everybody should understand that. We are very damn small Earth is. And here's some more truth, because basically D Dutch is real good on data. And watch your links. And basically we have 7.2 in Chile, okay? Uh, when the mag hit, okay? And that's, it's normal, because basically when the mag hits, that's what you got for a quake. If something comes up and thumps something, <laughs> that's a mag. And that's whammo, and that's the magnitude, okay? Whammo, that's what you get. And watch your links as I show you up here. Basically, what I did is I got rid of all the crap and went and looked at the video, and all the videos look like it's playing okay. But remember that usually when you go to a site and watch the videos and stuff like that, you probably want to get in there and chime off what you've seen me chime off on this video is you see that link there, okay? A lot shorter than what you end up with. Uh, just to see if there's any difference, see if they play with it some more or something like that. So it was a 7.2, more than likely in Chile, okay? 7.1, because we've got to be politically correct and not scare the piss out of everybody in North America, right? So basically, this comes in and moves away. You'll see this here, and then we'll hit play. And we'll hit some pause. And you can see the remnant down over here, okay? And then that other remnant was over here. And let's hit... Uh, We'll hit step a couple times here, see what we can get. We're just going to go step through this thing. And I might have missed what I was going to show you there, but we'll just keep stepping, okay? And when we, we get CME action, there are times when basically certain cameras won't report. Because basically that might be CME action that hits the, uh, gives a good, too much of a CME blast at the satellite. Uh, and this should be behind, I believe. Uh, could be A, doesn't really matter. And the factuality that uh, that we have both satellites getting some pretty heavy activity because they stay just far enough away, and we're flirting with disaster because CME action. I.e. like this that hits B. I think that's B there because red is A. 
Yep, Stereo B. And as you can see, this is fresh. Okay. And there it's going to be, you got look up until the second to the next month. You can see CME action here. So this comes out and gets after B. So you can see what's going on with the camera. I this, And then basically this is that small, whatever mask, remnant, sun, whatever it is, baby that's been there around the sun for a long time. Right here, it looks like a volcano all the time. And it's right there. You can't miss that. So we'll keep stepping here. And you'll get different shots. And you can see that more effectively right here. So you'll get with the idea that was in the last video that I'll upload. Uh, you can see where things come up and get an electrical charge from the sun because they get so close. And they're kind of trapped in that uh, aurora that the sun has, the sun and the supergiants. And then they get so much activity from the sun, and then boom, oh, they go flying off. Uh, very huge objects. Uh, we're talking maybe, maybe bigger than Mercury and Venus and Earth, folks. So we know that this is, this is huge, okay, and it's been there for ages. Uh, let's see what other remnants we can get in here. They don't like that, but we're telling you the truth. And like I say, they interviewed the astronauts, and the astronauts are being politically correct, keeping their mouths shut. They can't, they don't, they only get authorized to say what they get authorized to say, ladies and gentlemen. Astronaut can't tell you the truth about everything. Now, you can also see as I can hit, and I'll hit reverse, and we'll do a step there. You can also see some more of what more than likely is here as we will go ahead and hit step forward again and you can kind of see some of that to the right up there but you you, you don't can't miss this stuff over here you know okay now let's go because we're gonna we're, we, there's some other and you more than likely got something there because something's making black there okay because you got the sun doing a big old flash job and you, you know you got darkness here here and here and here okay so you know you got objects there we got this remnant for damn sure that's there all the time that wishbone is what I call it so we'll go this and you know you got something right there. You can't miss that. So it's all layers, 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 and layers. And the last video, too, we showed you the meatball. I don't think I've got that remnant film in here to throw that. And then this is wild here to have come through. Is that a comet or what is it? But you know it's something there. And Dan, there we go. This is what I was wanting to get into. So you see that, and then we'll blow into it at 400. And I think I showed it in one of the other videos for a little bit too. And as you can see, there's a triangulation getting broke up of something there. It gets all zappo or like a honeybee doing its little suckle. And I know people are going to run with that honeybee thing because I had that in the last video and everything like that. But it's, I mean, it's just a common theory that a lot of people have always kind of thought. I mean, we see this stuff up there and it's like, well, what the hell is it? Like a flower? The sun has got all that energy and they go up there and sucks. Maybe some of these planets do. Maybe they get energy. I mean, in their planets, folks, these things are huge, okay? This thing is way bigger than Jupiter, okay? Whatever the flip it is, okay? And it's the sun and the supergiants. And these masses, we know that the scientists know that they're out there and they just don't really tell you. And then you got something down there because you got CME action coming off and it pretty much gives you an x ray or whatever the hell is sitting there because the CME does a flare and lights up deep dark space and you end up seeing it. There's your date, so you don't think that I'm screwing you by. And then there's a huge planet right there. That's bigger than Earth. Quite honestly, could be something close to the size of Jupiter right there. Just that right there is probably, that could be this ju the size of Jupiter right there. Okay? And that's awfully close to the sun, ladies and gentlemen. And there's that triangulation thing. And we keep seeing that stamping and that rolling going on on the sun, ladies and gentlemen. And you've got this, this, and this. Okay? And we've heard the sound. So pay attention to the audio of the sun, folks. i got to get the link for that. Uh, I've had it in the past. If someone wants to throw it to me, you can listen to the sun, folks. Okay? They have data of listening to the sun every day. And this, all this stuff is up there by the sun, and this stuff all exists. Go to the sun and uh, go, you go on the Internet and look for comparisons. Anybody in uh, astrophysics and everything like that, get comparisons of what the size of the sun is and what that object could be. Okay? It's huge. Okay? There's all kinds of huge, large, massive... I could get a dictionary out on an on idea because all this stuff is so huge, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Yes, huge. They don't like that. Huge is a noun, bad word, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Uh, by the way, all the single ladies out there, I am single, and I have huge feet. I have huge ears, and I got a big mouth, too. And I don't care because I can talk. You know how it is in America, folks. If you got something, you can talk. Okay, so here we go truth, facts, and data, there's some shadows out there, and the sun went kablammo, and the sun and the supergiants did, and check all this stuff out. That's all there. And yes, folks, we can all talk. We have free speech rights. Now, there's that remnant to the right that's always there. 
All these shadows exist because the idea there's some dark stuff up there, folks. And yeah, it's okay. It could be smaller, but it's still a hell of bigger than Earth. And a lot of stuff in space, maybe Jupiter too, because that's a huge shadow right there. And the sun's going kaplowy, okay? And yes, it's a lot of different shots to show what the hell is actually going on to the sciences and the data honors, okay? It's layers, 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 but all this happened at the same time, ladies and gentlemen, okay? So all this stuff, all these planets, all these stars, because if they're planets, they're basically material out there, folks. It's dead and dark, and it's not burning like a sun anymore, and that's the all these here. And they are bigger than Earth, ladies and gentlemen. Most all those objects there are bigger than Earth, okay? All of these dots are, okay? All of those dots are bigger than Earth, okay? A lot of them are bigger than Jupiter, ladies and gentlemen. Like I say, more than likely, this even could be just a little bit smaller than Jupiter right there, that one round there. And there's been stuff hitting and rolling the sun, and you see that at this time, and we'll pop back down so you understand I'm not playing with you on these shots. This is all real data. There you go. All this stuff is up there by the sun. There's something huge making a shadow back there that's dark, that's not burning, right? You see that there, and you see this here and there, there and there. Because that's a big old flashlight going off. The sun and supergiants all the time, ladies and gentlemen. Layers, layers, layers. And yes, just watch the clock and the time, as you can see right there, 23:24 on the 25th. Okay, so let's pop in there at 400% and see that huge object there also. Okay, and then you'll see this. I think this is what goes across, and we'll pop back out real fast, and I'll hit play, and we'll see what that, and that's a huge object, huge planet of some sorts. As we see that, uh, I can hit backwards, I think, and you're going to see what I was hopefully seeing a huge, there it is, and basically you're going to see it again right here. You see these here? coming off as you see these go away okay whether it come up and got magnificated against the Sun and then it's going away and you can't miss it that's huge ladies and gentlemen that's a huge object probably the size of Jupiter or bigger right there okay and they can't contest it nobody in science can contest that because your eyes don't lie to you that's the Sun right there okay or one of the suns of the supergiants and I'm going backwards, bringing it back in, as you see every all that CME action coming back into the sun. And then I'll hit forward, and you'll see all this move away. And let me blow it up to 125 or something like that, so you can see 150, and you'll see this move away. So marbles up on the sun, folks. Marbles on the sun, and they're all the gals that are in science class with Bino. I want to say hi to all the gals. I never really hung around any of the ugly girls in my class, but they're not. Well, let's put it this way. I'm not beautiful anymore either. Still kind of cute, though. And hey, what the hell? If he's ugly anyway, he's flipping worth a bunch of dirt. So check this out. Look at that thing move away from the sun. So you can't miss it. It was right there. You can see that coming across. Okay. And we'll suck it back in real fast. As that CME comes back to the sun, and we'll blow it out away. There's stuff hitting and rolling around with the sun in the supergiants out there. So I'll hit back, and we'll get that to pop back away, I think. There you go. As it starts to go away, and there's may, way more than one, too, folks. Yep, your eyes don't lie to you. So there you go, moving away. And that was right there. So anyway, there's all kinds of other stuff to see, too. All this stuff is huge up there. Huge. All this stuff is huge up there, okay? And basically hit reverse, and you'll see that again, I think. Hit, hit, boom, boom, boom. There you go. Stuff huge, huge, huge stuff by the sun, marbles. Electrical magnification, too. You also see the electrical connections, okay? Tornado's my ass. And we like a lot of people at NASA, so we want to say hi to Martin, because Martin is uh, honest and says that we basically got hit by uh, worst of the solar storms since 2005, okay? Recent flurry of eruptions on the sun did more than a spark pretty auroras around the poles. NASA, we got gigawatts into Earth's upper atmosphere, ladies and gentlemen, and we were supposed to be on a solar calm, and you can go research that, okay? The, everything beginning of last year and everything was supposed to be solar calm, ladies and gentlemen. Solar calm was supposed to be here now, and they can never backstep out of away from it. It was supposed to be the calm, and now we got all this flaring going on, okay? So... Everything's bleeding true, and there you go from NASA. Gigawatts, electrical energy off the sun, ladies and gentlemen. Being a black doesn't tell, lie to you. I show you the truth all the time, 24-7 data and truth. 
and people hate me because 